Commander! Commander, we're under attack by our own equipment! Half the world is already mine! San Francisco, New York, Buenos Aires, Rome, Vienna, Stockholm, Sydney, Singapore. It's all mine! Antarctica, Hotshot! He's in Antarctica! You've got to stop him! Okay, welcome back to This Means War. And we're going to take on Shadowhawk, who's apparently hiding in Antarctica. I, Shadowhawk, have zoom controls right on now. Welcome. Still can. I'm using the caps lock button so you know I'm important. And it looks like he took over our equipment. I'm not quite sure how that works because most of what we use doesn't really seem to be the kind of equipment you could just hack, but, pff, but whatever. That's just not questionable. And Antarctica isn't even on this map. What a shame. So, welcome to Antarctica. This is another one of those missions where you have to build up stuff slowly, otherwise Shadowhawks is just going to attack with his hovercraft and then you just lose. There's also this pink dot here, I'm not quite sure what's up with that. Anyway, Shadowhawks HQ is here. It's ridiculously well defended, but we will punch our way through, but I'll, I'll, I'll save you the build up because, I'm, to be honest, I'm getting tired of this. And it's going to take a long, long while until we have built everything up because we can't increase the game speed too much. So see you in a moment. So first we need some permanent income. So there's a mining spot here that's always there. But that's not that's not a spot we can go to right now. There's also one here. I don't know why we can't reach that. We can't build bridges here because there's rocks. But that's probably because it's randomized. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set this guy here into assault mode. But the problem with that is, is that you can't set a, a rocket launcher into assault mode because they don't have the command for that, but you can use the hovercraft to to help out a little bit. The hovercraft will be destroyed, obviously. I don't know why these guys don't don't attack me, but it's okay. In any case, now we have to destroy all of this here, because if we don't, then we're going to... Actually, I think I can build a second one of these. I think we should have the money for that. If we don't do that, then obviously our mine here is going to get itself destroyed immediately, which is not great. So, yeah, there's that. Also, it's going to be an eternity for our dump trucks to get to our steel mill here. We can build a second one, but we still need dump trucks and stuff first, so there's there's that. We should probably get a supply depot, to be honest, so let's get, let's get that. We can build that somewhere, I don't know, here. So, uh, where's that other launcher? Oh, sabotage, of course. What what else would have happened? So, are you still into... I think you're... Yeah, you're, you're the first one. You're still into salt mode. That's okay, and we're just going to wait until you have... I don't know why I built a second silo. That literally makes no sense. Yeah, we have to wait until all of this here is gone. We could build planes, but they will be shot down very quickly. All Glen ground units will be destroyed by the artillery. Only our artillery has range that's sufficient to not get ourselves killed here so we can do some repairs here we don't have to go to maximum speed and okay so what's what to deal with that do we not have enough power also why weren't you auto repairing anyway what what's the power situation so we still have a um, pretty decent amount of cash left you start with uh, was a hundred thousand here you start with more more cash than ever so let's get some solar panels here. Yeah, we can build them here. It's not like we can build them anywhere else anyway. Sabotage is okay as long as actually you, you go to maximum speed here, otherwise this just takes too long. So now you're preparing the barracks first. Why is that the case? I don't know. Is that is it too far away or so? I don't, I don't know. It doesn't really matter all that much. So can you please repair that? Evidently not. I guess... Do you have a minimum range or so? I don't know. As you can tell, this is going to take quite a while, so we're going to be here for a long time. Thankfully, Shadowhawk doesn't really attack for some reason, but let's not complain about that. We should be grateful for that. So I advanced a little bit, built a nice base here, some research centers for once, and I built my mine here. I blew up this mine here, so firstly so I could build a supply depot here and fix my command center, because... This supply depot here is too far away and can't do it. You can also forward some airfields here. 
and now these guys here will harvest there because you, if you don't do it like that then they're going to it's actually it's an energy situation probably not good because I oh, I do have a surplus that's great because you can't change steel mills so you have to blow up the old one otherwise they, they will never comply and this guy here is, is busy blowing up some of these units here and the game also tends to crash quite often this mission. This is another crash heavy mission, but you know what, whatever. So can't really do much about that. I think I, th I think I still can't build additional ICBMs, can I? Don't think I can. Nope, I cannot. But it was worth a try, I suppose. Yeah, you can try, but it doesn't really work. Yeah, and this is for the most part a waiting game because uh, Shadowhawk has a lot of anti-air and stuff here, yes, so this is going to uh, going to be uh, a bit difficult. I'm going to need quite a lot of planes for this. Okay, welcome back. So what I'm going to try to do here is will you please mine. I guess you can't. Anyway, that's not that important. I did research a whole bunch of things here. To make myself a little bit stronger, it took a very long time because you are constantly starting for minerals. I also got some bombers going, so let's let's unleash the bombers. There we go. Don't know why you aren't while you aren't scrambling, as you should do, but whatever. Yes, we just have to prep you, and then you should. Why aren't you doing this? Come on, don't. Don't do this to me now. Okay, let's, let's try this again. Let's try to deactivate these. Of course, the game's mechanics are still trying to sabotage me here. But we'll, we'll see what we can do here. So you scramble, scramble, and that looks actually pretty good. So let's see how much we can bomb here. They should actually continue to do this, but for some reason they don't. Oh well, what I could try here is... Ah, forgot you can't build a radar facility because you are... Do we need no more here? Because, you... because that is apparently low tech, so... Radar installation, yeah, radars are low tech in case you didn't know that, so. Let's build one right. Actually, we can build one right here, so let's do that. And let's see how that goes. Shadowhawk isn't really doing much. He's got this ultra elite super hovercraft here, but he also has a million turrets, so. If my bombers could just bomb, that would be great, but I'm just. just, just saying. There we go, and now the other ones. Did fly some runs as well, but you, you can't get it to work consistently. That's the main problem here. But maybe if we build this radar installation here, we can get that to work. But we'll see about that. Are we still researching? I think we still are. So you know what? Oh, that's just great. But it's okay. We've got enough supply depots here. He actually, he actually sabotaged my supply depots as well for a while. That was rather embarrassing. But whatever. So you can attack. I don't know, what, what can you attack? Oh, I got the scroll speed. Attack this one here or whatever. There we go. Planes are pretty strong now, but the scrambling is really a problem because for some reason they just they just they just won't do it. They just won't do it. Did I lose two bombers here? Yeah, I think oh these ones are not on they're not on the airfield, so I guess that doesn't count. So I don't know why scrambling doesn't doesn't work all the time, it should. So I, I use it and then go, attack mode, you can try that as well. Doesn't do anything. Oh well, let's try to take out these other craft then. There's a lot of anti-aircraft guns here. Oh now they now they now it works, but now they stop again. That's the problem here. And I can't really get Okay, let's actually go to slow speed and let's see whether we can just attack the HQ directly. We might be able to do that. So let's let's see if we can get, get through here. And are they all going to do it now? Maybe. Let's prep another bomber and you attack that as well. And let's let's just go to maximum speed and let's see what we do here. Yep, the armor does it. Possible. Sheldon Arthur Hawking the third can't lose. You must have cheated. It's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> the AI won. 
Isn't that great? Three hours, 44 minutes. That was mostly waiting time because it takes you forever to just get your mine running and everything. And if you don't get all those upgrades, your plane will never make it through. As you can see, only two made it through, highly damaged, and I just got the right amount of damage to actually kill, kill that command center. Hey, hotshot! What does one say to the person who saved civilization from a madman? Congratulations just isn't enough. I'm just glad we could stop that little brat, Sheldon. I hope his parents spank him for trying to conquer the world. And okay, Commander, I'll admit I was wrong about you. You've proven yourself time and time again. Did you know they've nominated you for the presidency of the Free World Alliance? Congratulations, Hotshot. Seems I remember a promise the general made to raise a cold one in Fell's Point when this was over. I'd be happy to keep his promise, only I'm buy-in. A toast seems the best way to remember him and say thanks. Until next time, Hotshot, Major Cassandra Clark, over and out. And that was This Means War, advocating physical child abuse. And yeah, that's apparently it. We're going to go for a drink with Cassandra and that's it. So yeah, all our heroes, The Shake, Cassandra Clark, Shadowhawk, Clark again, Angry Shake. Apparently that was produced by, by Doug Kaufman. Isn't that great? Yeah, this game here is not great. It suffers from a ton of issues. Firstly, it's just way too complicated. All the menus, the select thing, the build thing, different mechanisms for building different things, it's way too complicated. The roads just bog everything down. And it's not really an excuse to say, oh, this game is from 1995. This game is, in a lot of regards, worse than Warcraft, Dune 2 and a bunch of other games that came out earlier. So that's not really an excuse, because it should have taken a, a lesson there. The graphics, was, they look alright, they're not special, neither are the units. There are too many units that just get replaced by other units throughout the mission, for example. As soon as you have medium tanks, no reason to build light tanks. As soon as you have heavy tanks, no reason to build medium tanks. And there's only very few units you actually need. In most missions, the game is also way too slow. Building takes forever once you have burned through your initial cache. Getting resources is too complicated. Even if you have multiple mines, getting multiple mines to work is actually almost impossible and you don't have a whole lot of options to get actually multiple mines in most missions anyway. So that's a different issue. So the game is just uh, way, too, way too slow in that regard. So here we have the photographed actors. So the Countess is Naomi and Nice. Got John Jills here. The Pollyanna is Sarko. It's just, just Sarko. Who's Sheldon? Michael Silverstone. Okay. Uh, voice direction, best Copeman. The voice, I'm good. The general quality is relatively low, even for its time again. And the all McCarran generic soldier squadron. Oh wow! Yeah, the game also tries to be funny. It's it's not really. It just feels kind of tacky and slightly embarrassing. <laughs> There's that. And yeah, the, the game speeds too slow. In the majority of missions, it's just possible to rush the game or rush the mission with just your initial units or just quickly spam some units and rush and if you don't do it a lot of missions take you absolutely forever to get anyway also due to the aforementioned uh, resource issues you also just need too long to get anything done so they often start with too many too many buildings you have to build so you oh so you want to build some units okay i need a factory for that okay you need power for that for that you need population for population you need farms for farms you need money, for money you need the mine, for money you need the roads, for that you need dump trucks, for that you need a factory. It's just not really fun and it seems that you don't really gain much by building those buildings and it feels more like you just build buildings so you actually get to the part of the mission where you can have a little bit of fun. Oh well, apparently they had a military advisor for this game here. Isn't that great? So is that it or are the, the credits just going to loop forever? Not quite sure about that, but we'll see. I mean, they could have done something with this game, so the general idea of like having this work character isn't bad. They could have made it campaign instantaneously uh, by making it more like Sarah Rattler 2, but they didn't really do that either. 
So overall, I cannot recommend this, and it's difficult to get this game running unless you run it in under something between Windows 3.1 and maybe Windows uh, 2000 or 1998. So yeah, skip over this. One advantage to this being a Windows 3.1 game is that you can adjust the window freely, so you can run it in widescreen. In fact, it runs in pretty much every resolution. You can run in 4K if you want, not that any maps are actually large enough to support that. In fact, most maps are so small, you have one third of the maps your enemy base, then another third is your base, and then you have a little bit of space in between where so same pictures at the same time. That's that's some good, good work there. And yeah, that's essentially it. That you that the maps are too too small. There are almost never any features, and for the most part, the features are just some obstacles. None of the maps are interesting. Interesting, they are as barren as the Dune Two maps, which had better reason to be barren, and they are less interesting than the Warcraft and Command Conquer maps. Again, real-time strategy game preceding this one here, and frankly, playing this game was exhausting. Anyway, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. We saved the world. See you next time. Tex Albert out.